Hello, hello, and welcome back to a new video by the Dash Course platform. My name is Johan, and I will be the host in this. Of I will be your host in this video, and also in this series. So, um, in this video we're gonna set up Vapor, and uh, you can go to vapor.codes, and you can actually go to the documentation. And when we click on install macOS, this is actually what we need. So we need Swift 5.2 or greater, and we actually need Xcode 11.4 or greater. So for the iOS uh, for the iOS developers and the macOS users, this is actually all uh, already installed. Most of it is already on your uh, device. The only thing you need to do is to install the toolbox, and with this we can actually use Brew. So Brew install Vapor, and you run through the installation process, and then everything is installed. Okay. So if you are not using macOS but you are working on Linux, Ubuntu for example. You can actually install this by cloning the git. By cloning the git, you have, you have actually have to check. Uh, you have to actually to check out. You have to actually do a make install, and after that you can actually check if Vapor is installed as well. Okay, but we are on macOS, so we're actually going to use macOS. So I'm going to open up the terminal. I'm going to open up Finder, go to API, and I'm actually going to do cd, and I'm going to drag this one here. And what we're going to do is Vapor new. I'm gonna call this DevScorch Academy, just like this. Okay. So now it's gonna clone the template from GitHub, and now it's gonna ask. So, would you like to use Fluent? Yes. Uh, the database is gonna be Postgres, and would we like to use Leaf? No. So, the packages which we installed, uh, Fluent is used for the modeling system, and um, flu um, let me think Postgres is the database system and then we also have like what we asked us last it was like the um, uh, um, leaf and we actually didn't install leaf because leaf is actually templating language which actually allows us to use Swift in the front end for so building a web building a front end using Swift but we don't need that because we actually are building the website in, uh, in react later okay so let's open up the um, the hierarchy so we have public we can actually delete that one we can also delete the resources then we go to sources and we go to app so we can actually select these three we also delete this one and we go to configure and we're actually going to delete the app migrations add as well um, okay so we actually cleaned up application very well now we're actually uh, gonna set up the project for ourselves so what we're gonna need we're gonna need a new folder and this is gonna be enums and a new folder called models and a new folder called controllers and we're gonna add a new folder this one is going to be migrations. Then a new folder. And this is going to be uh, seeds. I'm going to do a new folder. It's going to be protocols. Then we're going to do a new folder. And this is going to be services. Then another folder. This is going to be errors. So we have controllers, enums, errors, migrations, models, protocols, seeds, services. Um, do we need something else? Check really quick because I have a list. Okay. So we're also going to create a new one. New file. This is going to be of a new folder. This is going to be DTO. So data transfer object. We're going to create a new folder. And this is going to be the context. Like this. We're also going to create a new one. This is going to be called middleware. Okay. So uh, at the moment we are in a configure file. This is not really important at the moment. So I'm going to explain to you guys the view hierarchy. Here. So um, we have the context. And the context is actually the information that we want to return to the user when they do a request. And we have the controllers. The controllers are actually the, the endpoints. So 
these are actually going to be connecting to our front-end website and to the iOS applications. Then we have DTO. So DTO is data transfer object. And that's actually the object that we're going to use. And we want to create something or when we want to update or delete something. Then we have the enums. So I like to work with enumerations uh, because it's really easy coding. Maybe a little bit lazy coding, you could call it. And we're actually going to create different kinds of enums uh, through this uh, series. And the error, so we're actually going to create our own error handler, error system. So we're also going to learn how to write our own middleware. So middleware is actually like a helper that is actually called when a route is called. So the moment, let's say we want to go to all the users, but we actually want to make sure that only an admin can see those users and not the normal user. And we can actually call a middleware that's going to check if, the, if it is an admin or maybe not an admin. Then we have the migrations. So with the migrations, we actually prepare the database for the initial startup. So the moment when we start this initially, migrations are actually going to create all the models inside the database so that we can actually use them. So the models, actually the data models, so like user, courses, and so on. And with the protocols, the protocols are actually going to be the complete blueprint of this application. And we're actually going to create a lot of protocols. So Bear with me here because it's actually going to be a lot. And we have the seeds. So seeding is actually in database terms means that we're actually going to seed information into the database. So the moment when we start the API, we're actually going to create a default uh, uh, in um, user. We're actually going to do that with the seed. But then services, services are actually the, it's actually the functionality that's going to be called by the controllers. So we could actually cut the services out and put everything in controllers, but this is actually a cleaner way of working, okay? So then we have to configure. So here we're gonna add all the configurations which we, which we want to add. And we have here we have routes. You can actually delete this. Goodbye. So the route the routing system is actually um, all the endpoints. So actually what we're gonna call and how we're gonna do. But you're going to learn that later in the video as well. It's actually going to be really interesting. So I think, yeah, we need one more folder. New folder. And we're going to call this field keys. So, okay. So the field keys is actually uh, for the database. So with this, we can actually decide uh, which keys the, um, the database is going to use. And... This is also going to be really easy for the models. So that's actually going to be really cool. Okay, so this was a really short video just to get you started with Vapor a little bit and to set up the project. In the next video, we're going to start building our models and our field keys. And I'm going to explain to you uh, all the way why we do something and how we do it and why I made certain decisions, okay? So don't worry, this is actually a good start. And in the next video, we're actually going to learn how to build the model and how we can actually manipulate the information. Okay, so thank you for watching and I see you next time.